Hello guys and welcome for another New World Eternum video. In today's video I will show you the different types of materials, starting with the raw ones, going to the processed ones and of course ending with the special materials in the game. As the world in Eternum is quite vast, the same can be said for the crafting, gathering and refining professions in the game. So that's why I will try to share my knowledge today in order to give you the full understanding about which materials you should keep, which you can use and of course how to gain the best of it. Without wasting any more time, let's take a quick look at the leathers and I will try to explain how exactly everything works. First of all, we have to distinguish which of those leathers are raw materials, which ones are already processed materials and which ones are the so-called criticals or special materials. So I tried to manage to put them in a different order and as you can see on each leather on the top left corner there is a number. This number indicates the tier of the item. So as you can see the first row height is at tier 1, then we process to go to thick height which is tier 4, then we go to tier 5 which is iron height but we have a second type of tier 5 material which is the dark height. With the last expansion of the angry earth the game now has two different types of tier 5 materials. The first ones or the old ones are the so called tier 5 1 and the others are the tier 5 2. All those four leathers are considered to be raw materials. They are raw because they can be skinned by any type of animal out there depending on the level and you can gather as much as you want from them. When we decide to go and transform those raw leathers into a product then we will see that the raw height will become a coarse leather which is indicating as tier 2 and then the same coarse leather can be further processed in order to become rugged leather which as you can see is indicating tier 3. From here on you would need the rugged leather to be combined with the thick height in order to jump to the tier 4 material which is called layered leather. And then the same process with the layered leather in order to go further you need the iron height in order to get your infused leather. You can also use the dark height in order to reach the infused leather but this would be spending extra resources for no reason. With the infused leather in order to obtain the other tier 5.2 material which is the dark leather you would need to combine the infused leather with the dark height and this is how you get to the dark leather which is the current highest into the leather section. As it can be a bit confusing I will leave this table so you can take a quick look and see the different recipes and the different process. Taking a step forward we also need to mention the two legendary types of leather which are also obtainable by refining. The first one is the runic leather which is considered to be tier 5.1 and then we have the prismatic leather which is considered as tier 5.2. This is due to the fact that the prismatic leather was added with the expansion of the angry earth. Those two can be also obtained by refining as mentioned and you can see the different recipes on your screen. For all the other leathers that I currently have in my inventory the only way to obtain them is of course by skinning animals but you only have a chance to obtain them and they are not guaranteed. On tier 2 we have the rage height. On tier 3 we have several of them since we have Fuhr, Scary Height and Shadow Fuhr. Then on tier 4 we again have 3 different types which are the Thick Fuhr, Bright Scale Height and the Shift Height. And then at tier 5 we have the Smolder Height, Scar Height and of course Infused Fuhr. Now there is another chance to obtain those things and I will really quickly show you. And this is the main reason why you should avoid it because you would have to spend your regular resources. I'm currently on the station which we use to process our leathers and as you can see here are all the basic recipes mentioned earlier and the different stages of progression from your raw materials. However if you go a bit down you would see that there is an additional section called refining materials conversion. If you want to obtain one rage height you would have to spend 50 raw height. If you want to obtain the scaly height you would have to spend 100 raw height. The same goes for all the different types and of course the requirements are changing. However 
Please note that this is not worth it at all and there is no point of spending your resources in order to obtain those special items in the ladders section. Most of those special hides are used for replacement in different recipes for armor or weapons, but of course you can use normal hides or the legendary ones in order to obtain the highest tier of legendary crafts. Therefore, all those special materials that you see here are not necessarily worth it and it's a waste of your materials, so make sure to avoid that. Now when we went over the different types of leather, probably I already got you confused. But don't worry because we have just a minute more. Here I will show you the different metals and this time I didn't brought any special metals. Here are only the raw materials and the byproducts afterwards after smelting. So again, like I said, the system is the same and we have the raw material of iron ore which is considered to be a tier 1 metal. When you process the iron ore, you will obtain an iron ingot which on itself can be further processed to obtain the steel ingot and this way you will reach a tier 3 material. However, in order to go further, you need the star metal ore combined with the steel ingot in order to obtain a tier 4 star metal ingot. The same again can be applied here as with this tier 4 ingot and the raw material of orichalcum ore which is tier 5 you would end up with orichalcum ingot. After that there is just one step more and this is when you fuse the orichalcum ingot with mitreal ore in order to end up with your mitreal ingots. Of course the mitreal ingot is used for the highest tier of smelting material which currently is the prismatic ingot and this is how the whole chain works. Again, if we go to the station where we process all the different metals, we will see that the first recipes will be the base ones, transforming raw materials into basic product and then progressively getting higher. If we go further down, however, we again see the section which is called refining material conversion and you can see again that there is special items related to this profession which require you raw materials in big quantities. Again, the same can be said as the letters, please avoid that in order to save your precious materials. That was it from me guys, I hope that the information I shared with you will be useful. If you want to learn more interesting things about New World Eternum, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also join my Discord community server. There you can always ask me any types of questions and of course we can also see each other on the live stream going every Wednesday to Sunday starting at 6pm Central European time. And since it's getting quite late, I need to go back to sleep, so have a nice one and I will see you on the next one.